So I've got a 2D platformer controller here and I'm gonna add squashing and stretching to it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the squash or the stretch even when you jump. So if I come into our jump code here, which is this one, and I'm gonna add sprites 2D dot scale. So we're gonna alter the scale of our sprite. So we're gonna get the effect and we're gonna put uh, 0.7 and 1.3. You can change these numbers to be whatever you like, but I find that this works well. So if we have a look now at this, so when we jump, it's going to scale our sprite. So if I jump, you can see we've stretched, but we're not going back to the normal position. We're just in this weird stretched state. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add in our code in our process function here. And what this is going to do, this is going to take our scale for each the X and Y, and we're going to move back to one. The sprite's default scale is one. So we're just going to move back toward the default by a value of three times delta. You can change this to whatever you want. Again, it's uh, just make this bigger if you want it to be faster and make it smaller if you want it to be slower. So I'm going to set that to three. So we'll have a look at this now. So if I jump, and set this to one, set that a little bit lower. So as you can see, there's a subtle stretching effect when you jump. The next thing we're going to do is add the squashing when you land. So to do that, I'm going to add a new variable called was airborne. And we're going to set that to false by default. And we're basically going to use this variable to keep track of when the player lands. So I'm just going to rework my process function here to take into account the new was airborne variable. So I'm going to say if is on floor. I'm just going to pass on because I'm going to replace this if not is on floor with just an else like that. So if we are not on the floor, we are going to set was airborne to true. This means that we're in the air. And then when, we, when we're on the floor, we're going to do a check if was airborne. We're going to set was airborne to false because we are now no longer in the air. We've landed on the floor. So we're going to set that to false. And now we're going to squash our sprite. So sprite2d.scale equals vector2 of 1.3 and 0.7. So it's the opposite of the other one. So let's have a look at this now. So you could see there when we land, there's a nice squash effect. And the player is very sort of bouncy and fluid now.